Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlifegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about recursion. Now what recursion is, is is it's basically a sub or a function calling itself over and over again. So let's go ahead and make a little demo application for this. We will create a new project, select Windows Forms application and we will call it recursion. We'll wait for that to load Okay, so once it's open, let's go ahead and make the form a little bit smaller. And we will come into our toolbox and we'll add a button and a text box. Okay, so we'll set the text of button 1 to recursion. And we'll set the name to button recursion. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll double click on that to open up our form one class and the event handler, uh, the click event handler for button recursion. And let's go ahead and come below this and create a function. So private function and we will just call it recursive function. And for our arguments, we will take an integer. So arg int as integer and we want to return a double just in case we get a, de a decimal value so now let's go ahead and create an if statement so if argint is less than or equal to 10 then let's go ahead and return argint now else if argint is greater than 10 then let's go ahead and call this function again. So we will return recursive function and then argint. And this time let's divide it by two so that we get different values each time. Because if we just kept passing argint to it, it would keep calling itself over and over and over and it would never end. So we're gonna we're gonna return that and divide it by two. And it's gonna keep doing that until it is less than or equal to ten and then it's going to return the original integer not the original one the one that was passed to the last uh, occurrence of the function so now let's go ahead and whenever they click on the button let's output uh, what the function sent back so we'll just type messagebox.show and let's go ahead and show um, recursive function and then we want to convert so convert dot two int thirty two and we want to use what's in text box one dot text so this is all one statement right here we're calling recursive function and the argument that we're passing to it is the stuff in text box one dot text and it's converted to an integer so let's go ahead and add one more parenthesis to finish this off And let's go ahead and run this and see what we get. Let's see here. Okay. So here's our form. Let's go ahead and type 10 in here. And when we click recursion, we get 10 back. Because if it's less than or equal to 10, it's just going to give us back the original integer. So we'll do 4 and it gives us 4. Now let's go ahead and do 20. Now before I click recursion, let's try and figure out what this is going to do. So since it's greater than 10, it's going to call itself again and it's going to do 20 divided by 2 so that we should get the value 10. Now let's go ahead and do this with 30. So it's going to do 30 divided by 2 which is 15. Then it's going to call itself again and it's, we're going to get um, 7.5 or 8. It rounds. It automatically rounds up to 8 because we're using an integer in here. Let's go ahead and do this with a larger number. Let's do 246. And if we click recursion, we get 8 back because it keeps dividing by 2 until it is less than, or, yeah, until it is less than or equal to 10. So let's do 300. And you can see that we get 10 back. So now I'll show you guys what will happen if you don't have a way for your uh, recursive function or sub to exit. So if we just keep doing this, it's going to create an infinite loop and it's never going to stop recalling itself. So we'll just do 23 
and you can see that the program freezes up because we've created an infinite loop and we'll go ahead we'll go ahead and have to stop it right there so make sure that when you're using recursion you always want to have a way for your function or your sub to exit or else you'll make you'll create loops that are infinite and it will crash your program so thanks for watching guys um, practice a little bit with recursion and then once you've got that down I know it's kind of a hard concept to grasp but once you've got that down go ahead and move on to the next tutorial